What's up, guys? It's almost 10 o'clock. It is, uh, what is today? It's a Tuesday. I'm uh, getting my coffee, get my shoes on, sitting out here on the porch. I'm about to jump in the truck. Um, got on the old interwebs tonight and came across a boat that I'm really interested in. And uh, I hit them up, and they were kind enough to respond quickly. We just can't coordinate schedules. My daughter's got a dance recital tomorrow. We've got baseball Thursday and Friday. Um, I, I really don't want this boat to uh, to slip through the cracks, so uh, I'm I'm going out going out tonight to uh, to hopefully go get it and uh, and pick her up. So sorry if this video quality is bad or whatnot. Uh, very spur of the moment, and uh, again, 10 o'clock on a Tuesday, and we're gonna head over to Commerce, Georgia. Where's my Commerce cousins at? So uh, so here we go have a uh, no real knowing of what quality this boat's in it seems to be in good quality it's a uh, it's a 70s model so um looks like it's been a farm boat and uh, I'd like to uh, like to go go get it hopefully hopefully it'll be something that uh that I could turn into a straight fishing machine, but man, they uh they got a they got a price that's really in my budget. So I've missed out on a couple boats already the past uh, since I dropped my video announcing about the builds. So uh, let's let's go over to Commerce and check this thing out. Oh yeah, cousins! Of course, I had no cash whatsoever. And uh, I'm going through this small town in Georgia, Jefferson. And we're going to swing through the ATM, grab some cash money, my friends. Thank you. Man, I'm just going to tell you, I'm, I'm excited. I was about to fall asleep, and that, uh, that boat popped up, and... Uh, it's like a second second wind kicking in now, boys. We're about to go get it. Yeah, when she said, uh, if you want it, come get it tonight, man, that kind of blew my mind. So uh, I kind of feel like this is, especially just swinging by the ATM, taking out a bunch of cash, driving to some some place that I've never been to meet somebody that, I've, that I don't know, to pick up a boat sitting in the middle of a field. I'm guessing it looked like it was by a, uh, a lean-to and a tractor. So it uh, looks like it was uh, just a little pon a pond boat. It's a 1970s, guys. So, uh, man, I'm excited. Got my second wind. Uh, kind of feels, not that I would know anything about about it, but, uh, you know, this, this is what I would think a drug deal would feel like. So, again, don't know, but, you know, it's, it's kind of what I would think it would feel like. But yeah, so uh, I'm just pumped up, man. Can't wait to get there and check it out and uh, hopefully get it in the back of the truck, get her home tonight. Yeah, you know you're in the country, man, when you got a tractor crossing sign. We are out here in the country. Oh yeah, get you some of this. I'm assuming this is it. Um, this kind of reminds me of like a went from like reminding me of what a drug deal might be like to the start of a horror movie but i'm sure my wife will love to hear that this is my thought right now but uh oh i see somebody over there on the tractor this must be the right place let's go take a look there she is guys Woo! buddy i might i might take her home tonight and start cleaning her up. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, only thing I see here is obviously I told the gentleman here that sold it to me, no transom, which is fine. Half the time they're rotted out, so I'm gonna have to rip that out anyhow and do do some work. Nothing a little angled aluminum and a sledgehammer won't saw back here. But um, everything else checks out okay. Uh, there seems to be a couple rivets maybe in the bottom that. Uh, I hate to say it may have to replace but honestly for the price point and the shape that it's in for what year it is 
I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about it. I think this is gonna be a cool build. Um, it's 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 actually really clean. He said he's just tired of mowing around it. He had it uh he had it sitting over here by his lean to. So uh, we're gonna get it out of here tonight, and that is it. We'll get some more footage when I get it in the daylight tomorrow. Good morning. There she is in the daylight. Kind of hard to see what I was looking at last night with a flashlight, but uh. All in all, man, um, still real happy with it, considering the price that I paid. Not gonna, not gonna tell you guys what I paid, but uh, it was uh, a very, very good price to me. Very fair. Um, he knows I'm gonna work on the boat, and uh, it needs work. He knows that it needs that transom repair, and um, I did mention about the rivets. There's a couple rivets in the bottom that look tweaked. Um, a couple of these guys here. So, I don't know. I'm going to water test it. Uh, I was, I'm was. i not too concerned with it. Honestly, guys, even if it leaks for the price I pay for this boat, I'll just figure it out. Um, and uh, in case you guys couldn't tell, it's in the back of my truck. And uh, it's only it's only hanging out. A little bit so that should tell you about what size it is it is a 10 footer so we're going ultralight um, I'm gonna build this boat as light as I could possibly make it and uh, obviously plans may change um, and then also I went this with this route just because this is the boat that popped up it seemed exactly what I wanted the time that it popped up and uh, so I went and got it and uh, that's the route we're gonna go. Obviously, again, that may change. Um, I figure if for some reason there's anything drastically wrong with it or I decide to go a different route, it's not a big deal. Um, I've got very little amount into this thing and uh, we'll keep it around our property uh, as a pond boat. Um, we're gonna be doing a pond here at our property, um, hopefully in the next couple years. So sooner than later would be great, but uh, Anyhow, yeah, so she's going to need some love. The main thing is back here, but I'm honestly not too concerned about that. We'll figure that out. And uh, and then just coming up with some schematics and a game plan for as far as what I'm going to actually do to it. But uh, I think it's going to be cool and uh, definitely a different direction from what I've done uh, with boat number one. So that's it for now. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.